it. My mother was married in 27. That field out there was a rye field. Because when the previous owner was a moonshiner. Right, oh, whiskey. Oh, really? <laughs> and he had moonshine, uh, the rye field out there. In the basement, we have an oil tank that's on the rack that he had his moonshine out there barrels on. That wasn't the Naple Trail. That was the Naple Trail. <laughs> well, I heard. It was, uh, it was a right <laughs> And you can still, still see the outline really? of the field. On the, if you walk back there, you can see the outline. The, 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 <coughs> and the, that shed opened up. The outside opened up and to sell moonshine on the Maury Trail. Wow! <laughs> 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 He's an opportunist. <laughs> really? When I was a kid, this shed was, was just a, the worst barn, barn lumber, all gray and slippery and just a, it was just about from here to that wall and, you know, with a shed roof on it. And my brother and I would climb up on that. And of course, we come up in springtime. It was full of acorns from the squirrels down there. Mm -hmm. All that. And, uh, and pine cones. We climb up on the roof. I remember, clearly remember getting up on the roof. And it was fairly high, the top part of the roof. Dropping down, and my hands came on the side of that lumber. Oh. It had slivers all oh. over the oh. <laughs> That's the last time I ever did that. <laughs> so, anyway, so the, we had, I mean, the annex was a tar paper shack. It had a wood stove in it because we, when I was a kid, my mother would do laundry, put on the uh, big boilers, and hop in the, like a copper boiler on the hearth there, uh -huh. and boil the water for the clothes. And mm -hmm. I had the hand things that go up and down. Mm -hmm. And so, let's see, that was a, then about 1940 uh, something, we installed, we got rid of the pop belly stove in the living room and bought a space heater. You know, with oil, you poured oil in it. Mm -hmm. And we got rid of the kitchen. Stove and got a four burner wood stove and a four uh, with porcelain, you know, real, real, real stove, <laughs> four burners wood, four burner propane gas. Wow. And then let's see, the next thing was a new garage was built when I was a little kid. I can't remember. I thought I'd go back and look at all the receipts we've got. I just had to. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, 19, September 22nd, land was sold to Garnish. Proceeds used to build this addition. Mm -hmm. It took two bedrooms, uh, a bath, and a side porch. We still had the front screen porch, and the screen porch then was uh, one window in. Mm -hmm. And then the annex had a ground floor, a dirt floor with a wood over it, and that was replaced with tar paper, replaced 1980 something. And then we had the front porch windows, and the front porch, of course, because that screen was a slanted floor, so the raw water would run out. We had canvas curtains coming down. Now we use the canvas curtains to lug leaves. To <laughs> <laughs> Maybe seven, we had to put the skylight in the kitchen. And that's when we found, when we went up in the attic, the attic had lots of bats in it and there's no floor in it. But we installed the, uh, the uh, skylight. And when we was up there, when I was up there, we found an old, that old copper fixture, light fixture, which is in the gazebo. I wonder oh. where that came from. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we found that up in the attic. It was all black, of course, and tarnished. That my we, uh, my grandfather was a sheet metal worker, and her son Bill was was a sheet metal worker. I'm sure they made that. It was never used, so it was up there. Said, "Well, we're not going to get rid of this." So I rewired it, and the a couple of the porcelain fixtures were broken. You can't replace them, but I epoxied them together, and they work. So <laughs> that's the only thing I have. And then uh, one of the ultimately, of course, the woodshed shed was demolished. We had a woodshed where the gazebo was. We had, I saw two of them. The oldest one, and it was replaced by a wooden one, a new one, because we had wood stoves, so we had to have wood in the woodsheds. We demolished that and put the gazebo in. And we were building the gazebo, and we decided on the size that it was being built. And, and Kathy got a, I, I was home in Milwaukee, and Kathy called and said, the gazebo is too small. They, they built it, and they had to shell up and, and she said, I think it's too small. It won't, the, t the table won't fit in it. What should we do? And she talked to my sister-in-law, Jeannie, who was a half interest. And she said, well, just have a smaller table. And I said, no. Well, <laughs> go <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ken, uh, Sam T. And I said, make it bigger. Mm -hmm. They took it apart and made it bigger. So that was that. In 1988, uh, we added the two extra rooms in the back with an extra bath. Jeannie wanted, my sister and I wanted a fireplace. We wanted, no, she wanted the bathrooms. She wanted an extra bathroom. You wanted the fireplace. Kathy yeah. wanted the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So we decided.
decided to add that area, and of course we took the wall out, the living room wall, wall was straight across, with just two windows and a, a door to the front porch. So we took out that and put in uh, the fireplace and the extra rooms, extra rooms in the back. Excellent and then, uh, choice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excellent choice. Excellent choice. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. I, I haven't looked at the invoices to see. About three or four years ago, we had the attic insulated. When, the, when, the, when, we, when we added the rooms, we took all the windows out and all the doors out. We wanted to insulate the walls with walls originally two by fours, really four inches thick, and plaster. But the plaster lath was not lath as you see it, no, just the thin strips. There was three quarter inch board with grooves in, grooves in it. So those interior walls were all plastered with three quarter inch board with grooves in it and plaster over them. So it was, there was no insulation, but there was more than just the. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tore everything out the outside, all the siding off, put insulation in, mm -hmm. put new siding on it, and we had inside the attic. And I guess the last thing we had is we placed the gazebo deck, which Dennis, where's Dennis? <laughs> Dennis did it for us, which we were delighted with. So, yeah. That's the whole new gazebo? That's the last. Um, the deck. The deck. The deck. The deck. Yeah. The, the, the concrete, the old yeah. quadrangle, and the, the, the side. And the stone, the artificial yeah. stone. Very nice. It's a yeah. great house. Yeah. 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 Cozy. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, sure. Sure. It's about our the kilt house. Forever and ever. I think so. Yeah, I hope so. We hope so. Uh -huh. We hope so the kids like. I hope so. Bob, like may I ask a question about yeah. you know the old yeah. road back? Is that yeah, the one that actually goes through our property? Yeah. Yeah. So is that yeah. 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 Yeah.